Hello, my name is Puneet Doshi and I am a Scrum practitioner. I wanted to take a few minutes to describe to you difference between two different software delivery models. One is plan driven and the other one is value driven. So what we traditionally know as waterfall model is a plan driven model. So what do I mean by that? When it comes to plan driven model, the business team will provide a whole bunch of requirements Till the requirements are not finalized, the business requirements, uh, the software delivery team will not start with the analysis phase. So once they have the requirement, you will have uh, they will go through the analysis, then the design, then the development, test, and finally the release phase. So this is the waterfall model where across the entire duration of the project, the customer will not be able to see anything about the product till in the end when it's released to the customers, that's the first time he or she will get to see what the product looks like. So if you look at it uh, for a plan driven model, it is pretty rigid in the sense that the requirements are fixed up front. So any changes to this will have to go through the change management process. Then there is low visibility about the product because the customer during the entire duration of the project will not be able to see anything and also it is a plan centric meaning you have a plan in place and based on that you will work on the product now let's switch over to value driven model value driven model you have the requirements you don't need to know all the requirements up front though what will happen is say you uh, know a bunch of requirements which are very value, uh, valuable for the customer. So you order these based on values. The highest value uh, items will be always on top and lower value on at the bottom. So based on that, once the highest value or high value items are uh, refined enough, the software delivery team will take it and during the entire time they break it down into iterations so the iteration duration uh, will keep it no more than one month so it should be one month iterations that's how the software delivery team will work on so during the first iteration they'll take the first set of requirements do the entire analysis design develop and build and they uh, they release it by the end of the first print. So you don't have to give it to the customer, but at least it should be releasable. Then the next set of requirements will go into the second iteration and during that time, they'll work on those requirements and build on top of the existing increment they had built in the previous iteration and so on and so forth. Now, whenever the delivery team decide that, oh, you know what, the requirement that we have put together, this is of good value for the customer. So instead of waiting to, till the end of the release, say during the, after the uh, third iteration, they realize that, you know what, this is of business value. Let the customer use it. They give it to the customer, so that way, the customer can review it, and also provide the feedback, and based on that, the requirements, which are not being worked on, can be refined further, or changed, and they can take it in the next iteration. So this is a value driven model. If you look at it, it provides the flexibility because now you don't need all the requirements up front, whichever ones are known of high value, the team will work on that first and uh, then the next batch. So it provides the flex flexibility of changing the requirements. The next is high visibility. Now, as I mentioned earlier that we can release to the customer, the customer will be happy now because uh, they don't have to wait till the end of the entire project to see what the product looks like. So now, since they know some bit of the functionality, they can use it and they can give the feedback to the team. Right. So it's high visibility for the customer and it's customer centric. Unlike the plan centric over here, you focus more on the customer. So these are some of the changes while you shift from the plan driven model to a value driven model which is more agile or scrum is one of the implementations of agile thank you